Hi guys! I hope you're well and I hope you're safe, what is more important. Hope you're staying at home if you can. And equally importantly, I hope you're not getting too bored. And here's one idea for you. If you have extra time on your hands, why don't you look through old photographs from your holidays? Photographs and videos, the thousands of them that we all take with our phones and cameras and then quite often never look back through them because there's never time. So there's time now. Please take some videos, screenshots, um, slideshows and show them to us. And in return, I promise, we're going to look through our discs of JPEGs and RAW files and dig up some pictures for you, especially from our last trip in Morocco. But now I want to talk to you about different footage. I know it's long overdue. The last episode of the competition Necklace for a Story. And I promise you, promise, it's coming out this week. So stay with me. And for now, we're going to have a quick catch up and remind everyone, perhaps new people or yourself, what was it all about? Where the idea came from? What's the necklace? What's the prize? And who is winning so far? Aha! Uh -huh. Stay with me! celebrated the fourth birthday of Kaszowska Vintage Collection, also known as KK Vintage Collection. We had an amazing party, lots of giveaways and competitions, and here you can watch a little video from our party. To watch the full video, go to this link. To help us celebrate, we asked our clients to share stories from their life. Of course, the stories were to do with the jewellery they purchased from our shop. We are really, really interested to hear how the jewellery they purchased was intertwined with their life stories, different life events, important life events, often happy, but often sad and tragic, as we've learned. And ten very brave people, wonderful people, send us their incredible stories. Arva from Belgium sent us a story about Nefertiti necklace that she purchased in our shop and about how it gave uh, extra confidence and extra poomph. Joe sent us a very touching story about last minute wedding that she had to organize so her terminally ill mother could be part of it. Rosie sent her story about finding that gorgeous opal in our shop. And here is Ashton's story about that perfect engagement proposal and the perfect sunset on the lake. And here is another engagement story from Kate and Claire of a spontaneous proposal in the kitchen. An incredible history from Barbara, involving three generations of women and two Claudia rings. And a lovely, lovely story from Celestial about her proposal in London. And here is a fun story from Judith about cosplay and dressing up. You like that one? And incredible story from Jacqueline about gifting that special ring to her mum. An absolutely incredible story from Tony about her buying blue zircon ring to herself as a gift on the first anniversary after being clear of cancer. You can still read all the stories here. And here is the prize. Gorgeous necklace made in 1973. Uh, nine card gold and smoky quartz. Gorgeous, right? So I've mentioned we had the birthday party and it was quite a good party, I may add. And on that party we asked the guests to tell a story. They could pick a jewellery piece and they could wear it for the night. If they wanted to keep it, they had to tell a story in a connection with this jewellery about 
how they like the piece, why it suits them or anything they liked really and we've heard some good stories and what's more this is how we picked our judges to give the votes in this competition necklace for a story seven judges Gosha, Andrew, Paulina, Emilio and Alessandro, Johanna and Jovita and of course you and of course you can still go back and watch all the videos and interviews with the judges to see exactly what they said. But now, let's just have a quick catch up on the votes. So first judge was Gosha and she voted for Jacqueline. Let's hear it. So there, there we have something which is quite disappointing and something painful. Mm -hmm. And then, few, so many years later, 15 years later, Jacqueline comes up with an idea of buying her a ring as a way of saying thank you, mm. I love you, I'm proud of you, but also a way of healing that mm -hmm. pain of losing something so special. So first point goes to Jacqueline. Second judge we had was my cousin Paulina and she voted for Barbara. Let's hear it. It's nice to teach your children that uh, they need to remember the others and they there's always something to pass on to the younger mm. generations. Uh, not only the ring, but uh, <laughs> obviously many more things. I really yeah. love how she almost poured her heart into the paper. Okay, so, so far we had one point for Jacqueline and one point for Barbara. And after that, we had Andrew, our third judge. Let's hear it. So Ashton relocated with her partner. She gave up her job to be with her. She thought, right, I've only got a limited amount of time to buy an engagement ring for her. Uh, because basically she'd run out of money very soon. There at the beach, she waits for this beautiful sunset mm. and then she pops the question. It's like the end of a perfect okay. movie. That's enough. So, uh, three different people voted for completely three different stories. Andrew voted for Ashton's story, Gosha voted for Jacqueline's story and Paulina voted for Barbara's story. But you have to remember at the same time we had a Facebook pool happening so you could vote for your favorite story. And let's have a quick look now. It looks like many votes went to Barbara but complete crasher. I mean friends of Ashton or anyone else they really went to help her and look how many votes she got. So, it looks like Ashton moves to first place with two votes. But now, let's have a look what Emilio and Alessandro, our two voters Italian guys, had to say. We, by coincidence, we uh, discovered that we like the same story, which is... For the same reason. ...is the story of Barbara. We liked it because it's nice to have a uh, history inside the story. In that case, I, I think it's very important that you know, you have the same gel of your grand grandma. Mm. It's kind of sentimental vibe. Yeah. That's incredible, guys. Can you actually believe they didn't collude? Well, we have no choice rather than to believe them. But with that vote, definitely Barbara is moving up to first place with three votes. Ashton staying on second, strong second place with two votes, and still. Jacqueline on the third place with one point. Well done everyone. How exciting. But basically this is it. Now the last decision, the final decision belongs to Johanna and Jovita, our judge number six and judge number seven. Okay, but here it is. Here's the situation. Unless they are anonymous, they cannot make real impact. If they both vote for Ashton, then Ashton wins. If they win for Barbara, obviously Barbara already wins. But if they both vote for even together for someone else, it won't make a difference. So everything in their hands. Watch us in the last episode and find out who's going to win that gorgeous necklace and who's going to be the winner of the competition Necklace for a Story. Stay with us. Uh, 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 <laughs>